now we are going to have a session on entrepreneurship so i would like to introduce uh, two of the uh, chief guests who are going to talk about entrepreneurship uh, anubhav garu brings with him almost a decade of experience with a successful track record in helping startups to scale through various innovative initiatives and acceleration programs he is currently working with center of, center for innovation and entrepreneurship cie at triple it hyderabad and heads the deep tech and medtech incubator there cie is one india largest and oldest academic incubator that is currently incubating and accelerating 100 plus startups through its three way ceo innovation model that brings corporates research and startups together to co build nirupa vijay kumar garu leads programs at cie triple it hyderabad she has worked closely with startups from the past 5 plus years and also runs workshops for other incubator centers and colleges on running incubators and understanding startup health she enjoys the dynamic of the startups world and enjoy problem solving innovating strategizing design thinking and consulting with startups across all the stages her vision lately has been connected the dots between innovation startups and technology translation i would like to uh, take take over from here please come on to the dais good evening everyone uh as uh, uh, my introduction said that uh, i work with incubators how many of you have uh, any idea what an incubator is anyone yeah baby production good so we produce babies in our incubator anyone else yeah something that helps you to grow anyone else let's make it more interactive i don't want to make it a boring session one side lecture so uh, anyone else security okay so now let's combine all these three inputs that was given one was producing babies so we our babies are startups so this person was right when a, a premature baby is born it is kept in a incubator to until and unless all its organs are self sufficient to uh, help uh, the body so what uh, uh, so what happens in a in a journey of a startup when an idea is there uh, the the support system that is needed for that idea to flourish and once it is stable and it becomes a stand up the, those are the established counterparts of startup which is called corporates every corporate uh, uh, once uh, in its journey has always been a idea and then how, that is how it transforms whether it was cognizant infosys depending on whatever your product initially the the struggle was more because the you know the right set of mentorship right set of hand holding and giving them the right set of path uh, as a mentorship was not uh, available at that much in a structured uh, way so what used to happen the, these organizations took decades to reach where they Uh, have reached the primary difference between a traditional business and a startup is any can anyone uh, 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 think about it and answer what do you think is the pri uh, primary difference between a startup and a uh, you know traditional business startup is okay okay there's no uh, wrong or right here i just want to understand the audience so that uh, i'll 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 tweak my uh, uh, discussion according to what uh, you know uh, whatever your understanding about startups and all is so anyone else what is the difference between a traditional business maybe a general store or a startup or you know a shoe manufacturing company or a startup what 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 is the difference yeah okay anyone else capital is needed for traditional business anyone else which college are you people from hmm hmm 
Any backbenchers, please? What is the uh, difference between a startup before I come to you and uh, with the mic? Voluntarily participate or I'll come there? <laughs> quick, 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 quick. Anyone? Okay, tell me one thing. What is the what is the difference? I'll make it more easier for you. What is the difference between a Ratnadeep and a big basket? Yeah, yeah, that 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 murmuring you do with me. <laughs> huh? Huge investment. Uh, which one needs huge investment? Big basket. Okay. Let's let's take that pointer. Let's remember that pointer that it needs huge capital investment. We'll take that as an input. Anyone else? Anyone? What what is the difference between a Ratnadeep and uh, and a big basket? Products, uh, uh, wide variety of products, okay. Capital intensive, wide vera wi good variety of product line. No one? I'm coming there with the mic now. Yeah. Whom should I put the mic to? I, I saw a lot of you answering here. What is the difference between, as per your understanding, what is the difference between Ratnadeep and uh, a big basket? Now I can uh, turn any side, left or right. Quickly, who is volunteering? Yeah, good. Hmm. Well, Ratnadeep, Ratnadeep is a retail store and Big Basket is an online store. Yeah. Uh, both are stores, but the way they are doing the same thing is different. Okay. So, uh, Big Basket is an online store. Ratnadeep is a brick and mortar store. Okay. The other point was uh, good product line and mainly very capital intensive. Any Anything else? Any other input from anyone? Yeah. Come on, guys, let's make it more interesting. I'll uh, show five slides and go it. Uh, you want that? Marketing. Uh, which one is marketing? In big, basket. big basket. Big basket uses marketing as its biggest tool. OK? By? By TV ads, OK? Anyone else? Ease of access. Good point. Okay. Anyone? Are yes. Consumers are limited. You have gone very close to the to that one answer. The basic difference between Ratnadeep and Big Basket. Why are the consumers limited? Now, now that's the perfect, very, uh, you know, right answer. Now let's structure this in the differentiating way. Capital intensive, right? It's capital intensive. Which one is capital in intensive? Big basket. But if you see the, if if we put one crore in a big basket uh, uh, platform and one crore in a Ratnadeep brick and mortar store. How many more stores can we open? Say, say, say for instance, there is one uh, Ratnadeep. Uh, I gave them one crore. How, how many stores do you think they can open after that, with that one crore? Maybe one or two? OK. Different, where I, different places, different price points. Somewhere it might be five. How many cities can big basket cover with that one crore? Most of them, right? Most of them. So what is the primary difference now? The ability to scale fast. 
that is the primary difference between a startup and a traditional business a, st a traditional business has it has its long timeline how it grows how it uh, you know it, it takes time and that is why the uh, the whole uh, uh, problem of scaling happens like reliance took lot of years but how many years did geo took to took over everything not more than one or two years so uh, so th that is the primary and basic difference and all comes down to what madam was saying the idea idea is uh, the idea is either innovative now uh, now what what most of these startups the solutions that we use are solutions that makes us lazy we don't want to go out and shop flipkart is there we don't want to go out and book a book a taxi and uh, and all we can book it from home we want we don't have to go out for uh, buying our vegetables big basket is there everything that you see is, uh, is making it more and more easier for us and that's what it is called any problem uh, uh, that you solve which caters to the masses is what uh, makes a startup more and more scale scalable now now you got the idea what startup is so when you start a company you need all basic support around it what kind of company should we open uh, and uh, you know uh, what kind of uh, what what should be my hiring policy where should i set up my office uh, and uh, uh, you know uh, things like uh, how do i allot my shares when we when i am raising funds what kind of documentation i should be uh, worrying about so what incubators and accelerator do they 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 sorry incubators do they, they take care of all these things the basic premise uh, premise of an incubator is to provide you uh, support with infrastructures sup uh, provide you support with the networks and the community and to uh, to bring in uh, managerial services like cacs uh, uh, charter accountants lawyers uh, and others who who are integral part of running a company with and uh, following the compliances and others so so that's what incubators basically do so uh, for us a start when a startup is born at some as somebody was saying uh, uh, it takes care of the baby that's that's the startup is the baby and we take care of uh, it through until unless it has uh, grown to a level where it can uh, go ahead on its own now uh, coming to the other part which is called accelerator what are what are accelerators accelerators are uh, uh, a cohort based that is cohort means batch uh, based program with funding where we uh, the accelerators put in money uh, at uh, uh, different accelerators have different model some uh, put it at the idea stage some put it at the you know mvp mvp means minimum viable product so which if you are building something you know the basic structure of it is ready but uh, to make it more uh, you know effective and comprehensive and better you need more funding for that and that's where that's where the accelerators come into picture so what accelerator do they, they are basically three to six months program which is structured uh, this thing uh, uh, you know program timelines and uh, program content and uh, with my every milestone that you achieve you receive funding so if it's a 40 lakh accelerator or a 50 lakh accelerator they won't the moment you join the batch you do, you won't get that whole 50 lakh at once they will release 10 lakh and they will ask you to do finish your website uh, acquire two three customers or go and test your product get us the feedback let us see how you are uh, you know and once all those tasks are completed you achieve the milestone the next 10 lakh or 20 lakh whatever it is so it's a milestone based program with funding which uh, gives 360 uh, 360 degree support to a startup now ci triple it hyderabad is both it's an incubator also and it, uh, it it's an accelerator also our focus is on uh, uh, deep technology startups uh, startups that are working in the areas of ai and subdomains of ai and uh, uh, that that is that is where our accelerators focus is if the, we see that you are working in the deep technology space uh, where triple it uh, hyderabad has its research in interest also and uh, that's when we call for applications people apply based on the uh, you know the researches and technologies that triple it is working on and uh, then uh, uh, we shortlist them select them 
invest in them and start working with the research. So uh, our idea is to, because IIIT Hyderabad is a research technology st institution, the whole focus is to work around uh, deep technology uh, research and uh, back those research by uh, translating them into a product and eventually a startup. So uh, the research translation, how it happens is basically there, is, uh, there might be a research by a professor on in any of these technologies. What we do, we, we have our own product lab where we uh, help with the uh, with EIR program. You all can be one of the EIRs. You just come up with an idea and uh, you pick up the technology here. You'll get uh, uh, you'll get some stipend. You'll uh, and then uh, uh, just to take care of your basic needs. And then we, you will work with Triple IT's product lab to build that product. Once that product is ready, you become the co-founder of the product, and you can bring someone else as your co-founder. Triple IT has its uh, stake in the company because the technology translation and everything has been built up here. And that's how we create startups with young minds like you or somebody who has been in the industry for long. So uh, how we work, we work in a, uh, 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 we try to bring the corporate side of it and uh, the academic side of it, the research academic side of it, and the startup angle. Uh, that's what our three-way co-innovation uh, model is, where a corporate comes up with a problem statement saying that, you uh, say for instance, if it's, uh, if it's you know, uh, let's take an example, say for instance if it's a mall, it's a big, uh, you know, the forum group comes to us and say that, uh, you know, we are having problem uh, with, uh, with the right set of parking alignments in our, uh, in our malls. And uh, every time when there is a lot of rush, there is a lot of traffic that uh, blocks the whole parking lot of the mall. Now, do we have some computer vision solution which, uh, where we install right set of cameras to understand at, uh, what should be the uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, relay of traffic, how much uh, time each car is taking, analyze that and see if there is a better route, if there is a better way of uh, parking the cars, if they are parked like this, it is delaying the process. The, at this level details, we have worked around with Boeing, we have worked around with uh, big airports where where we have been asked to analyze why there is a slight one or two minutes delay also into the flights. And that's, that's how the corporate gives you the problem statement, gives you mean to the incubator. Now we'll see if there is an underlying research or something has been done in that area by the academic institution that is IIIT Hyderabad. If, if there is something like that, either we build it in-house, uh, that solution by translating that research, or we scout for startups who have uh, who are working in that domain and they have some solution around it which they can tweak to meet that's the three way co uh, co creation model uh, uh, research translation we have uh, we have one uh, that works closely with star sports on the badminton analytics which was uh, the research of uh, triple it hyderabad's uh, 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 dean and uh, uh, current dean that is professor cv jawahar from the cvit lab so uh, it was his research, we translated it and we saw that lot of data is there related to cricket, but very less data is there related to other sports uh, in India. So that time Premier Badminton League was going on and Star Sports needed such solution which can, you know, track the players and see the heat maps, uh, where they are stepping, at what angle they are hitting those shots, at, uh, you know, what is translating them into points for them, where they are lacking. So those kind of analysis will help the young players to understand, uh, uh, you know, how they can train themselves well by watching the, their own videos and getting the analytics out of it. The other one was uh, subtle, which came, um, uh, again, uh, is a research translation of IIIT's NLP lab, where uh, you give it uh, a, a 20,000 page or a 5,000 page or a 10,000 page PDF. Now that technology will uh, derive insights from it as if y you have mugged up the whole document. So say for instance if you, if it's a legal deed uh, of like, uh, what do we say, if it's a legal deed of 5,000 pages going on, the legal suit is going for 10, 20 years, now you suddenly want to know uh, the proper, in the property dispute, uh, in the legal document, who owned the property in 1965. Now, now if you do this with current uh, technology or uh, technology that was available a couple of years back, what we used to do, we used to do control F, we used to search with the keywords. 
Now you can just ask a question to this technology, who owned the property in 1965. It will take you to the page where that judgment was given. It will give you an answer that XYZ person owned in 1965, which was purchased by XYZ in 1964 and eventually sold to. Now what is happening? You are getting answers for the uh, in, in, in a Ziffy. Now where, where these technologies will help is large banking documents when they have to go through KYC document or if you are a, if you are a, you, if you are somebody who loves machine, there are so many things that there are how to run that machine and all these booklets are there. You get stuck at somewhere, say you or you, you, even if you're reading PDF through, uh, you're coding something and you want to know. Now you go through that each page or each line of code to understand, whereas if that PDF is uploaded on this technology, you can just ask questions and immediately you'll get answers. So those kind of solutions, uh, uh, so in that case, SBI came to us with a problem that we are having problem with lot of these government orders and we are unable to keep track of it. And it's tough for us to uh, run uh, uh, every time through each, uh, a page and see what was the judgment and what was the government order and that's when we started taking that technology and eventually building a startup with an EIR, EIR means entrepreneur in residence, uh, with an EIR who eventually became the co-founder co -founder of that startup with the professor. Anna. So that's how the, uh, the co-creation model works. Accelerators, we have uh, uh, deep tech accelerator, med tech accelerator, one we are running with, uh, one uh, we are running a media tech accelerator and uh, uh, then we have a facebook's uh, xr program accelerator the, where uh, you know uh, students uh, and uh, startups that are working in the domain of gaming and entertainment in the ar vr solution facebook will fund that program uh, and uh, uh, facebook will basically try to you know in, invest in these ideas and take it so that in that model we have uh, healthcare program, we have uh, acceleration program with iHub where iHub is, uh, uh, you know, funding us uh, to find the right set of solution in the, uh, again, in the deep tech uh, domain. So uh, the, this is what we do. Uh, it's been, it, it, uh, tri Triple IT started, it started it in its incubator back in 2007. So, so 2000, early 2007 and somewhere around that the whole idea was conceptualized and in 2008 we formally registered and that's when it's been 14 years that we have been supporting startups, more than 600 plus startups we have supported so far. Uh, we have invested in more than 50 uh, companies and uh, uh, all in the deep tech uh, domain. So yeah, that's, uh, that's a quick and a long or whatever intro of uh, uh, about incubator accelerators and how we work and if you ha or, or if you have any idea if you want to work uh, if you want to try your hand in uh, entrepreneurship and see how it uh, you know uh, uh, how to go ahead uh, with this journey you are more than uh, welcome to come and explore us uh, and uh, we do idea validation boot camps two day boot camps you uh, i mean that that's something very interesting for students that students can look into and uh, I mean, we can do a specific cohort only for your college. We can do that also. So those are the uh, those are the, uh, where two days you'll get mentors and all. You can come up with random ideas and see if that works or will work or not. So it's a certificate. Uh, you get a certificate from Triple IT that you are part of the boot camp and all. So yeah, that's it. Any questions anyone has? Anyone? Call Nirupa. Yeah. Yeah. See, huh, so uh, they, they, there is one which uh, they are not, not uh, exactly one that uh, bunch of uh, startups that we have supported and has gone uh, ahead to make a news. Have you heard about, how many of you have walked, uh, watched Shark Tank here? Shark Tank India. Have you heard about this startup called Sunfox? So it, it, has, uh, it has built a ECG machine of this sort 
and uh, they were the start that that was the startup that got uh, funding from all the sharks of Shark Tank India. So that was one. Revos was one. Revos again is a uh, is our, is is funded by yes and eventually went on to uh, raise multiple rounds and then again uh, went to Shark Tank India to raise from there. So that is one. Uh, I mean uh, these have made uh, uh, you know lot of uh, news and they have built interesting technologies. Uh, as I said, match day is something where, where Pulela Gopichand, the national badminton coach, became the co-founder. That was one of the achievements that we see, uh, yeah, you know, when the national badminton coach himself is coming and joining a startup that, uh, that is created by your organization. So that's, that's few, uh, uh, I would uh, say, that are pretty interesting to me. But uh, having said that, I love each and every startup of mine, uh, which is in the incubator. They are doing some amazing stuff, and it's not easy. Entrepreneurship is not easy. So it takes a lot uh, to run a company. And, uh, you know, and then going through a, a turmoil of COVID, where everything was so bad. So it, ta it takes a lot. Uh, it it's not an easy journey, but it's uh, it's it's worth uh, worth it. Subsidies are these companies who register in startups eligible for subs government subsidies? Yeah, yeah, they do get government grants, and uh, yeah, uh, and uh, as per the national startup policy, also uh, the the processing and all these things when they are tendering to a startup is uh, like SBI couldn't do if it was beyond. Uh, I can't reveal the number. If it, it was beyond that number, SBI couldn't have done it by giving a direct order. It would have to go into tendering. But since the policy is there that up till here you can uh, involve a startup and you don't need to call for a tender. So that itself shows that there is a lot of uh, push from the government happening where they want to work with the startup and have a fast track process of you know giving them POCs rather than involving big companies. Like uh, the government's Harita project, a lot of drone startups of IIITs are being used to uh, spread the seed balls around uh, you know, um, uh, uh, for the afforestation that is going on right now. So they, yeah, they do, they do work with, uh, the government uh, uh, is very keen in working with startups, yes. Anyone else? Yeah, yeah. So the the the, the when somebody is coming with the, the research translation part that we are talking, we do put, uh, help them with the uh, you know tech talent here, uh, and uh, we do help them with the right set of strategy mentors. We do help them with the right set of engineers who are building it, interns building it for them. The triple IT lab helps. So it's, it's a uh, it's a because we have our stake also in in the business, right? So uh, we are very much involved. Our enablement is very deep in that in that case. Nirupa. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>